there are people that have crossed over a border in another country. But as we look at our world today, the world of our nation, the United States, people are crossing into our country at a rate that's never been seen before. Now, where are these people going to go? Where are they going to live? How would those around them deal with such of an increase in these states, in these cities, in these towns, or in areas where people live? Now, for those who are able-bodied in crossing the border, now we can understand that there are consequences in life. Someone has to deal with matters of situations. So when we think about some of these circumstances, now when you cross the border, we have to realize that there is a payment somehow. Someone has to pay for those situations. Now, when we look at crossing this border and we see what's going on in our country, for people needing to be drafted, for wars, I remember some years ago, at least 20 years ago, as immigration was a hot topic. And something I thought of then can be understood now. If you cross that border and you want to be American, citizen, then you should be drafted to fight for this country. See, there is nothing free in this world. Now, God may provide the free gift of everlasting life, but it's up to us to live according to his word. And if we don't live according to his word, we're not going to be able to obtain this free gift of everlasting life. The time is right now to take hold of your life. And you look at what the Lord has waiting for you. And if you let it go, you will lose it you'll lose this chance, the only chance that you have for heaven. 